we go through and we do scouting of the hop fields and determine what the pest and disease pressure is. And we do this every week in the same field. We go in every week and we do a report of the pest levels. We always try to practice IPM because uh, just because there's a few doesn't mean it's a problem, but we wait till they get to unacceptable tolerances and then we will address it with a foliar spray um, used to take care of it. So insect wise, two spot spider mite and hop aphid are the two we deal with. And like I said, hop aphid are underneath the back side of the leaves. There's not that many, I don't see that many here. They usually like the new growth right here. I don't see that many. I saw a few back over there, but it's not a problem. But when they get too many, they'll be shiny. The two spot spider mites will um, cause transpiration burn on the leaf. And a little bit's okay, but as they build and build, um, then we want to take care of them. Usually when they get hops get a little higher, a little taller, we'll, we'll address them. And there is uh, uh, two major predators that we deal with here. One's called Tiffodromus. We just, we just call that a tiff. And it's a mite predator. And the other one is a stethorus beetle which is a little black, looks like a ladybug, but it's a lot smaller and it's black. And the larva is very voracious on two spot spider mites. So insect wise, that's the two issues we deal with. We, well, we have other insects. Um, we get any, all types of loopers. Aren't, we, those are easy to take care of. We try, not, we try to live with them for a while. Uh, what else do we have? Um, there's all kinds of, uh, there's, well, there's black vine weevil and there's prionus beetle in the ground, but um, that's not a major problem here. Uh, the other issue we have is powdery mildew, as you can see right here. This variety is highly susceptible to powdery mildew that we're in right now. And you can see there's one, two, three, four spots of powdery mildew. They, and this is sec what we call secondary infection, where they, uh, the, the, the flag shoot or it has blown in or this flag shoot has, has uh, um, sporulated upward onto the leaf and this is a problem as you can see the back side of the leaf has quite a bit as well and that's what powdery mildew and hops looks like the problem we have with powdery mildew and hops is when the hop becomes flowering the the burr itself becomes very susceptible to powdery mildew um, it's like a magnet for sporulation so if you got a burr which looks like a oh it's it doesn't. It's it's called a flowering stage. It doesn't. It's not really a flower, but it, it looks like a flower. We call it the burr. It's got fingers that come out. It's very attractive to powdery mildew. Once powdery mildew gets on the burr, it ruins the hop cone. Um, it pretty much knurls it, and so it never really develops into a cone, which is a major problem. And as you can see down here, there's a little more mildew, and down. And the other issue I was going to tell you about is is downy mildew. But this is all powdery mildew that's been controlled. You can see powdery mildew will blister before it before it goes to the white mycelium. Lots of blisters right here. And it's usually worse on basal growth. You can see it right in here. Here's, here's a leaf with quite a bit of powdery mildew. And this is a big problem. This right here is downy mildew. And it's this is called a spike. As you can see, the shoot difference between that and that is pretty obvious. And under underside of these leaves, there's black spores. They're kind of hard to see. You almost need a hand lens. But you can see them. This one's very more like a gray. But that's that's what it is. And, and this is an internal problem. It'll, it'll ruin the crown um, if we let it go. So we address this. And we don't uh, on a cool. If you if you live in a climate where it's uh, uh, cool and wet a lot in early spring, with certain varieties, you'll see a lot of downy mildew. But you can see all the spike. These are called spikes. There's a lot of them right here. We we can't let this go. You can see right in here, another spike. And what will happen with the downy mildew is it'll sporulate a lot, like powdery mildew will and you'll get secondary infection and then you'll start getting spikes up here and then you're pretty much done. Once you get spiked, you, it's not gonna grow. There's some more powdery mildew. So we've, we've, right here we've seen downy mildew and powdery mildew. What the aphid do, they secrete a liquid um, and it shines up the leaves. So we try to address that before we get them because they're they are basically sucking 
on the leaf itself and their excrement is what comes out and causes that so we try to clear that up and uh, we use a product called imidacloprid uh, there's several names for it but that's the that's the um, active ingredient that we use to control it it does a pretty good job now here's a little more transpiration burn from the two spot spider mites I don't know if you can see it where they are feeding on the leaves and they're um, pretty much sucking the chlorophyll out of the leaf and if you look with the hand lens there's easily 30 right here on the leaf and uh, we usually we let them go a little bit but after they get there's too many then we want to make sure we address it there's viruses that get in hops as well not a lot you can do other than try to keep the plant as healthy as you can um, but and there, there's a multitude of things for hops but that that hops will get however those are the those four powdery mildew downy mildew hop aphid and two-spot spider mite are, are some major concerns we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis